So here's how my day started. I tried a new launch because the first few days I hit a rock. The first ramp, I hit some mud and got stuck a little bit. The second ramp, and then today at the new ramp, safely launched, thought I was in the middle of the channel going out into the main lake about 50 yards off from the ramp and promptly got stuck on shallow gravel and had to take off my socks and shoes, get in the water, push my boat off, and then obviously load the boat because after that, I'm not taking a chance of getting stuck worse there. <sighs> Look, I'm not trying to knock Mille Lacs or the boat ramps and the water levels down like 12, 14, 16 inches or something like that from normal. I get that. <laughs> But anyway, it is almost 10 o'clock. I got my earliest start ever of the week, and yet I didn't. It'll be fine. One thing we do have going for us today, though, is the fact that uh, I can kind of fish without gloves, especially when the sun's out. Found a little spot here at the mouth of a bay, just inside the corner of the bay. There's a nice little, kind of the same thing I've been working. It's a rock reef with some sand on the edge. So I'm not super sure, like I'm more in the rocks right now and I'm trying to decipher whether or not I'm actually seeing fish in there or just rocks. If they're hungry fish and we get bit first cast or two, then we know. Otherwise, maybe we'll reassess the situation. Got some fish there. Let it go. Oh. oh, what is going on? Why can't I hook that fish? Is that a perch? Is that a little walleye? Is it a big walleye not biting well? It's shallower than I've been fishing the whole time. I'm in 10 feet of water. Oh, one picked it up right here. And then he spit it right away. Pick it up again. Got him that time. Got him that time. Oh, that's a nice walleye. I don't know what the first two bites were, but this one's a nice walleye. That's a nice one. Look at that guy. Look at that fish. Come here, buddy. I suspect the first two bites were also decent walleyes. I just didn't quite commit, but again, like they are grabbing it, letting it go, grabbing it, letting it go. And I think if I remember correctly, I looked at this spot on the Omnia app and not only is it a nice sand and gravel transition, but it has some vegetation around it. We're not super tight to the vegetation, but we're in that area, which was something I wanted to try. That's the earliest we've caught a walleye. Was that a rock or a fish? I think that was actually a rock. Oh, that might be a fish now. Got him. We're getting this figured out a little bit, slowly but surely. Four casts, four bites. They are in here. And like I said yesterday, they are so concentrated right now you can fish and fish and fish and fish dead water and then all of a sudden you get to a spot that they're in and it's almost every cast so like i've been hearing a lot of stories from locals who have been talking about 50 fish plus days and i see how they can pull that off but it's not everywhere you got to find a spot that they're on and then you can rack them pretty quickly if you remember from day one, when we did that full Omnia fishing app explanation, it was like all the spots I was trying. And then once we got on that spot that had fish, I caught them almost every cast. This time I've had bites on every cast. It is a little different spot than what we've been fishing. It is, there is a point here. I'm off the end of a subtle point again, which is not different. This is a little flatter, a little less rock and gravel, a little more sand, and a little closer to a weed bed. 
I do have to give Crappie T a shout out too because he said I needed to check out this area. Although he was fishing it in June, but here we are in November and we got some fish coming back into some of these same shallow sandy areas. Nice selection, Crappie T. Only took me three days to finally try it. I was too stubborn. And here's the other thing about me, like, <laughs> I am such a glutton for punishment, I suppose, if you want to call it that, but three days, I have fished three completely different areas of the lake. It's almost like I'm just so set on, okay, we found fish there, we figured that out, now let's find them somewhere else. Like, I can't just go back to those spots and just crush fish over and over, as fun as that is. I just have this incessant need to find them somewhere else the next time. <laughs> and we've done that so far. Like yesterday was a little tough with that wind and cold, but we did get on a spot where we found some nice fish. Now here we are, day three, you had a new area, new spot. I'm gonna try a little shallower angle. And this one, this is kind of interesting because like I actually got more of my rock and gravel on the deeper side and it's like, almost like you got an inside weed edge, you got an inside rock edge. There's more sand on the inside. Not something I've seen yet, but that's how this spot shapes up. Yeah, it looks like there's some scattered small fish stuff on the down imaging that I think might be perch. It's not like schools of smelt like we see on Sakakawea, but it's just little individual fishes. Possible slash probable there's some walleyes in here chasing perch, you know. There's one cruising over there. 12:19 hummingbird time. Cruising on them rocks over there. Pick it up. Pick it up, fishy. Try to just do some slack line twitching so the momentum doesn't move a whole lot. I'll try to keep it in the same place all the bunch. I don't know if it's a if it's a November thing or if it's a Malax thing, but it seems like you really have to work these fish. Like you can catch them fast and they'll bite real good, but they get a little picky about how you present it. The fact that we got four bites though in the first four casts and now we got like three or four empty casts, we either need to cruise further ahead on this spot or find a new one. I decided to try a plastic here to see if I can get a few more going on a plastic and I think I got a nicer fish. That is a bigger one. Nicer fish on the plastic, okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Nice. <laughs> Bigger fish seem to like plastic maybe on this spot. And the funny thing was I had pulled it and I went to my map to look for another spot. <laughs> and it was just sitting on the bottom. And he picked it right up off the bottom. That's about a 21 incher, I think. Pretty, pretty fish. So yeah, all of a sudden I'm like, how did that jig just get heavy? <laughs> I'm not moving it. It was a walleye, three fish off this spot. Got him. <laughs> right under the boat almost. Oh, hefty boat flip. 12 pound floral. I just keep thinking about leaving the spot and then I just keep inching forward and occasionally getting a bite from a Malax walleye. Smallest one of the day probably. Do I keep grinding them or should I be looking for faster action? It's definitely a solid bite here, but it's not bonkers. I don't know if there'd be a bonkers bite somewhere else or not. I'm always wondering, should we be spending our time searching or fishing? Another couple of casts, Let's see if I get another fish and then try something else. That one's got it. That's a big fish. That's a horse right there. That is a tank. Oh yeah. Stay a buttoned over there. Came to the surface right away. 
Oh, it's a tank. It's a tank, it's a tank, it's a tank. Come on, tank. Find the net. Find the net, tank. Drill! <laughs> that one picked it up and ran with it. I felt a very faint bite. It wasn't a thumb, but I felt a bite. And then it started moving. It was already in its mouth. Oh, it popped right out, perfect. That was too much fun. That is another broad shouldered <laughs> Malax tanker. Maybe we can try to get a better sun angle for you. Since this might end up being a thumbnail picture, I'm guessing 23. It's actually 24 and a half thick, 24 and a half inch Lake Malax. I'm glad I stuck it out here for that fish. Now do you do one more? <laughs> or do you keep looking around? I wouldn't mind having some more spots in my repertoire. Oh, gulp that minnow so good I can still use it. Either for future trips up here or also tomorrow. My uncle and my cousin are coming up here. Feisty. Holy cow. Stop. There you go. Hey, right here. <laughs> nice. Good job, Tanya. <laughs> so it might be a good idea to get another spot or two under my belt for places to go with them. Oh, I pulled it out of its mouth somehow. How did that fish not have it? Huh. Well, if they're going to bite this fast, I'll stick it out. It must have just had the jig in its mouth kind of funny. So it didn't hook up. That wind's starting to gust a little bit more too. Sure is better than being on the opposite side of the lake though. Nice fish in here. And they're thick. Like I, the last time I was on Mille Lacs a number of years ago, they were very thin fish, most of them. And I'd seen in, I don't know if you guys follow Target Walleye's newsletter, but he was kind of disagreeing with the North the, or the Minnesota DNR was saying how the plumpness of the fish is down. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not seeing that either. <laughs> we got autumn quicker today. I looked at a couple other spots and decided not to fish them. This was the first one I decided to fish and we caught them. Got them. Another lethargic biter. I don't know if it's just this spot or what it is, but the bites are lethargic. <laughs> right in the hand. <laughs> but he gulped it. Nice little eater wally. Got some, got some growthage. Some nasty growth nodes. Okay, I think we proved the spot out. It's time to get into guide mode and do some scouting. Well, I didn't move very far. I found a there's just a subtle little hump right ahead of the point I was fishing. And I just saw a mountain of fish. And I'm like, ah, I gotta cast on these quick. And I didn't even get the camera on before the hook set, but this is a tank on the plastic. I just I saw these fish, I didn't even want to bait up with the minnow. So I just threw the plastic out there and he freaking whacked it. At a minimum, it's a really feisty one. Yeah, it's a pretty big fish. That's pretty big. That's a pretty big Malax Walter right there. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I stopped on that pot of fish. And again, the plastic got another good fish. That's a toad. Just thick inhaled that plastic. Gonna need a forceps. First cast, two pops, wham! Didn't even get the camera turned on. I missed the hook set by a split second. I was so close. <laughs> That's probably another 23, 24 incher. Oh, mama. Was that ever fun? 
Is there a school of these things back there? Because I want to catch more. And I was, uh, oh, oh my goodness. Another big one. <laughs> That's another big fish. They're not even letting this thing get to the bottom barely. <laughs> oh, this spot is awesome. It's not as big as I thought. He just inhaled it and he's got his mouth open. They're inhaling these plastics. So he's pulling a lot of water. That's a 20 inch fish, 19 at least. They want the plastic here on this spot. I'm making that fish look small. That's, that's a better look at that eyeball. This bay has some, uh, some dandy fish. <laughs> I was just like so surprised that was a bite already. I'm like, why is that heavy? <laughs> Cause the fish ate it. Goodness sakes. I thought it was like, I got a gust of wind and it just felt like, oh, well, something's feeling odd on the rod. <laughs> it's a fish, set the hook, dummy. 143 hummingbird time, 1243 my time. I think we got the two most aggressive ones out of here. Let's try a minnow. It's just crazy how you get to a spot like almost all the spots, except for day one. You get two real quick, and then you gotta work like a dog for the rest of them. I've noticed that on like some of these shallower natural lake, like Mille Lacs has, you know, at least mid 30s foot of water. I don't know exactly how deep it gets, but there's, it's not a hundred foot deep reservoir like Sakakawea. But if you just get these shallow little bumps, that can be nice little fish attractors. You know what the funniest thing about all this is? The bay that I tried to launch at, where I got my boat stuck and pulled out of, is the bay that I'm catching these fish in. This was where I was gonna go. I just had to take a longer route here. So I'm just realizing that after I got to this spot, I forgot to turn my microphones back on so you couldn't hear anything I was saying. I caught a big fish out of plastic. I caught a smaller fish on a jig and minnow. There's a pile of fish in here. The screenshot I was trying to show you is it's right at a, a transition zone where there's like a real steep break, which is harder bottom, and then it goes into sand, and then there's a little knob right in the middle. So I'm parked on the knob right when it turns into the flatter, sandier stuff. Oopies, sorry about that. Just a pile of fish in here. But since we're at like two o'clock in the afternoon, maybe the bite's not quite as hot anymore, so I haven't been able to get but two of them to go. Turn on the microphones. I think that's all the stuff I said when I didn't have microphones on like a moron. If I missed anything, you'll never know. <laughs>